Hey, my name is Steven, and back in high school, I didn't have any friends. Most people thought I was boring because I didn't talk much, but actually, I was just shy and introverted. One day, my whole life changed. I noticed that my neighbor Thomas was struggling with his math exam. I kind of felt bad for him and gave him a small paper with all the correct answers so he wouldn't fail his exam. Then, after class, he came over to me and said, Thanks, Stephen. You are a real lifesaver. And by the way, do you want to hang out with me and Alex over the weekend? Of course, I said yes, because this was the first time I'd ever been invited to hang out with anyone. This was my chance to prove I wasn't as boring as everyone thought, and maybe I'd even make some friends. When I arrived at Thomas's house, he and Alex were already drinking beers. This was a big problem for me because I'd never drunk alcohol before. Then Thomas handed me a large glass of vodka, but I said I'd rather not drink any alcohol. Don't be such a coward, Thomas responded. Drink it or go home. I felt like I didn't have any choice. And one drink led to another, and soon I was totally wasted. After a few hours, Thomas said, Hey, my brother is a tattoo artist, and he keeps his gear in the basement. We should all get matching tattoos. I was so drunk. I said, Sure, that's an amazing idea. Then Thomas got the tattooing machine while I laid down on the couch and pulled up my sleeve, so Thomas could tattoo my arm. However, I was so drunk that I immediately passed out, and I don't remember anything that happened after that. When I woke up the next day, my face felt like it was burning. It was so painful. I went to find a mirror, and when I saw myself, I couldn't believe it. Those bastards had tattooed a Batman mask on my face! I stormed out of their house and went home, but, of course, everyone gave me weird looks. And I couldn't blame them because I looked ridiculous. I'll also never forget the look of horror on my mom's face when I got home. She screamed, What have you done to your face? I told her it was just a tattoo and I was going to get it removed. But she totally freaked out and started crying, saying my face was ruined forever. When my dad found out about what happened, he got really mad and promised me to sue Thomas and Alex and put them both into prison. I thought that was a great idea to get justice. But I still had one much bigger problem to solve. Because the next day, I had a really important exam at school, and there was no way I would go there and have everyone laugh at me and my stupid tattoo. Unfortunately, my dad said it was my own fault for being stupid enough to get a tattoo. So the next day, he drove me to school and practically dragged me into my class. It truly was the worst day of my life. Everyone, and I mean literally everyone, came up to me and laughed at my tattoo. My teacher even had to lock the door to our classroom, because every five minutes someone would open the door, take a look at me, and start laughing. What made it even worse was that everyone was treating Thomas and Alex like heroes for giving me that tattoo. By the time I sat down for my exam, I was a mess. I couldn't focus on anything. So I failed the exam. So hard? I was forced to repeat the year. Since then, I had laser treatment over the summer vacation, so I look a lot better now. But I still have some scars all over my face, and you can still see the faint outline of the Batman mask. Luckily, my dad helped me sue Thomas and Alex, and their families were forced to pay me $150,000 in compensation. And the best thing was that Thomas and Alex were sent to a youth detention center for three months. It would be great to say that something good came out of all this. I'd love to tell you that the girls at my school thought I was cool because I was crazy enough to get a Batman tattoo, but that wasn't the case. I was nothing but a huge joke. Not just in school, but in my whole town. Even now, I can't leave my house without people pointing and laughing at me. As soon as I graduate school, I'm getting the hell out of here. I've shamed my whole family and I need a new start. I just wanted to warn you to choose your friends carefully, and don't get wasted unless you're in a safe environment with people you can trust completely. Thanks for listening, and please subscribe to this channel.